Yeah, we are live now. Yes, we are live. Hello, Suhui. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Hi, Hello, Sydney. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for eyeballs. Okay, so you, <laughs> you all guess where, where am I today? Yeah, hello? Where are you today, Mr. Ben? Yeah, so today I have a nice place. Let's see. Okay, where am I? Can you see the banner behind me, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. And this is the environment. Today I'm here. Today a new venue, no longer in Ben Physio. Today we are not in our own own oh. own outlet. Yeah, well, today, we are, today we are in a new place. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Today classy a little bit. Wow. Okay, nice place, nice place. Nice place, okay. Good for meeting, good for dating as well. Okay, and um, the boss very nice, lady boss very nice. She served me this. Today I have this. Yeah, because um, she knows today I'm doing this uh, weight management, uh, weight loss program. So today she gets, she served me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have this uh, cauliflower fried rice. Actually fried rice, but not really a rice. Uh. That's why they call it gluten free. Yeah? And there's a sambal. Sambal. And Sydney, you guess, what is the calorie uh, for this fried rice? The total wow, calorie. Calories, uh, should be it, quite low. Uh, looks pretty healthy. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I think, uh, I mean, to my surprise, uh, it's only 400 kilo calories. Wow. 400. Yeah, very, very, very low. Okay, one roti chana is also more than that already. <laughs> yeah. So that's where I, I, I am today. Okay, so um, thanks for Rossum. Uh. Thanks for Rossum. Okay, for the awesome meal and for all the awesome venue. Okay, so okay, so everyone will ask, hey, why am I why am I doing here today? All right, play plane, eat eat. <laughs> okay, so actually today we have our sponsor from Rossum Uptown. Rossum Uptown, they are situated at this uh Tamong Haji Manara Tamong Haji. Okay, so um they sponsored us um about ten cans voucher, right, Suhui? Yes. Yeah, they sponsored us ten can ten vouchers. All right, so. Stay tuned with us, stay until the end, okay? We will throw you a simple, simple question, okay? And uh, you will stand, stand a chance to win. You will stand a chance to win the, the, the cash voucher from Rossum. Yeah, it's worth 18 ringgit. It's worth a yes. full yes, meal. Yes, yes, yes. Cal okay, low calories. If you're looking for low calories, this is where you're coming. Yes. So like usual, so if you are here already, just comment plus one if you are watching us. Yep, and help us to share out this very, very interesting topic today, mm. weight management. Yep. Okay, okay. So, yeah. so shall we start? Yep. So actually, I'm really, really excited for myself about this topic today because from, oh, yeah. I think for the speaker, it's actually really, I have to say like perfect combination because from Mr. Ben, He's a very experienced, uh, 13 years already in visual therapy rules, uh, in the field. So he's going to talk mm. about how, how exercises, uh, what is the limits that you know of, you know, the rules, all that. And from Miss Sydney's side, our special, special, beautiful guest today. So she, got, yes. she herself is a, a weight management consultant and it's already been seven years, right, Miss Sydney? And yes, she yes. herself actually uh, uh, been through a lot of struggles before uh, she's been uh, trying a lot of uh, methods to able to successfully finally able to weight, uh, uh, lose loss, weight. Right? Yeah, lose weight. Transform. Yeah. Transform to, <laughs> yeah. to a prettier yeah, motion. To a prettier motion. More beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So you later she will, yeah, she will the, unveil her ugly, ugly photo and then also a prettier mm. photo. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Okay, okay. Yeah, and also we are going to ask uh, a question. So remember the same thing. Take three friends and comment the right answer. We're going to give you this uh, voucher, cash voucher worth 18 ringgit from Rawson. Once again, thank yep. Rawson for the voucher. Yeah. Okay, so I'm okay. excited. Should we start? Yep. Okay. So, hey. yeah. So this today, this is the last topic of our women health lah. Mm. Yep. So um yes, today is our last topic about women's health. So I think we have covered about uh eight okay eight topics about women's health. Sorry, twelve topics about women's health under the title of women's health. 
Now, so a lot of customers ask, are asking us, like, hey, so what's next? So what's next? So next, um, we're going to talk about degeneration. Okay, next we're going to talk about degeneration. Okay, arthritis, spondylosis, spondylolisthesis, those things, blah, 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 blah. All right, so stay tuned with us. So we will come up with the whole schedule of the whole entire, uh, the entire this program or life. All right, so okay, again, we are here to educate everyone, okay, to let everyone know that, yes, there are something can be done. Okay, including today's weight management from many, many, I don't know, many, many kilos from Sydney to very, very, very <laughs> little now. Okay. Yep. So, okay. So today we're going to share about weight management from a physio point of view, from a diet point of view. Okay. So next. Okay. 10 effective tips. Hmm. Yep. So of course, uh, 10 effective tips. Actually, there are, there are more than 10 effective tips. Okay, but generally we talk about three things. Number one, exercise. Number two, diet. And number three, to your surprise, sleep. Okay, now it's a mathematic formula in weight management. It's a mathematic formula. If you don't want to gain weight, what do you do? You, you bring down the weight, I mean, you, you, increase your, you increase your exercise to burn it. And then at the same time, you reduce your intake. Yeah, you increase your output, you reduce your input. All right, to increase output, my expertise. To, in, to reduce your input, diet expertise, sickness expertise. To sleep, Suhei's expertise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, yes, okay. So the answer is here. Exercise plus diet and sleep. Okay, so it's a mathematical formula as simple as that. All right, yep, next. So I'm going to cover about exercise. All right, so now a lot of people ask me, oh, Ben, so there are so many types of exercise. Okay, so what are the ex exercise that's suitable to me? Okay, there are cardio exercise, there are strength exercise, there are flexibility exercise. Wait, which one burns most? Okay, which one burns less? Okay, now over here, we only talk about the key to help you to manage your weights, the key, okay? But before this, we will just have a quick touch. What are the type of exercise and what are their importance of? Okay, so next. So first, we will talk about cardio first. Okay, when talk, people talk about cardio, we know, we are, we are talking about something called aerobic exercise or aerobic workout, which involves oxygen. All right, so we make sure that we have a sufficient oxygen, all right, to meet the exercise demand. Okay, and the rules for cardio or the aerobic, right, normally we call it low weights, high reps. Okay, low weights, high reps, huh? in, the, in the red color one. That means what? If I want to do a cardio in a, in a adequate, with a adequate oxygen, I always make sure that I go low weights, which is about 5 kilo, 3 kilo, but very high repetition. How high repetition is high? Can be up to 30 reps, 50 reps, even 100 reps. All right. So this is what we call cardio or aerobic, whereby you inquire or you use a sufficient free, a sufficient free oxygen. Okay. Example of cardio, cardio workout or example of aerobic workout. So we have, okay, uh, simple jogging. Simple running, okay, simple cycling. Okay, so now um, we're going to, not going to elaborate everything. Okay, everyone just have a, in, uh, 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 an idea. Aerobic means you use sufficient oxygen. You don't push, you don't over push yourself. All right, you have sufficient oxygen. So dancing is also part of aerobic. All right, because after dancing, you also <gasps> a little bit breathless. Okay, sometimes a little bit, like, not a lot, a little bit. If a lot is wrong already, yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's so called aerobic. All right, the most important here is low weights and high repetition okay that's the most important okay next so we have also cardio and something called anaerobic oops sorry so there's a smelling mistake it's an anaerobic all right now this one is a type of exercise that you, okay body work without sufficient oxygen okay without oxygen all right that means what okay if you look at the point number three like this is beneficial when you have been exercising for a long time and you're trying to look looking are you looking to push through and a plateau okay an exercise plateau for example i have been running for this uh three to five kilometer weekly okay run 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 i want to break through okay yes i push myself a little bit more okay i push myself a little bit more into anaerobic that means what i push myself whereby my muscles exercise without oxygen all right so this one but when i push myself i don't over push long uh, because after this after that the heart cannot work okay the heart cannot uh cannot cope and then uh, with a lot of shortness of breath, okay, everything. All right, aerobic is, okay, uh, anyway, Shuhei, we're going to change the word now. So aerobic means mm. low weights, 
high reps. Now, when it comes to anaerobic without oxygen, we go high resistance or high weight, but very low reps. Okay, I have been running four to five kilometer. I suddenly I just push myself for one minute, a sprint for a minute, and then I go back to my normal jogging again. Now, this is what we call anaerobic. You push yourself. Okay, so next. So the example is still the same with the aerobic. Okay, but then in, in between, I push myself a little bit more. So you see, uh, short run, and I suddenly have a sprint. Okay, after my jogging or during my treadmill. Or oh, HIIT. Okay, all these are the high weights, high resistance one. Okay, very jialat one. Okay, but low reps, very fast. Okay, then finish. Combat training, very fast, then finish. Oh, okay, so or some people also do weight, uh, weights in the gym. Okay, they go high weights. High weights means what? 25 kilometer, uh, 25 kilogram or 30 kilogram. And then low reps, maybe five, four, three. Yeah, okay. So aerobic, low weight, high reps. And aerobic without oxygen, high weight, low reps. Okay, you remember the red keys, red, red wordings. Okay, so next. So yep, like, like Vivian said, how about K-pop dance? I think hmm. it should be the low weights, high rep, right? Mm, yes, it's also, so, yeah. Okay. So next. Okay, now this is the key. Okay, this is the key. So endurance is something to keep your heart, lung, circulatory system healthy. Okay, now this is again, again according to American Heart Association. Eh? So uh, endurance workout is meant to make your heart, lungs, and circulatory healthy. All right, and it also it can prevent a lot of uh, uh, many diseases, uh, chronic diseases. Now the key here is today, if I want to do for weight management, okay, if I want to do for weight management, either you do cardio or no cardio. All right, always remember endurance. Okay, you need to make sure that your entire exercise is about thirty minutes. Okay, and above. Okay. Oh, I have do exercise. Huh? Oh, Sini, I do exercise every day. I only do 15 minutes. Is it sufficient? I am sorry. Answer is negative. No. Okay. So you have to do your exercise about 30 minutes, minimum 30 minutes. Okay. Because when you come to 30 minutes, that's where your heart, lung, circulatory system start to really, really work out at the optimum level. And they, that's where it starts to burn. Okay. The first 15 minutes just warm up for everything only. All right, so that's why endurance workout is meant, okay, for the uh for the what uh, the manage uh, the weight loss management, whereby you must really last for the thirty minutes. So now I can do cardio, aerobic, treadmill, cycling. Make sure you dance, treadmill, everything for thirty minutes. Okay, if I want to do the high weights one, high weights the like gym workouts one, tap uh, HIIT one, can also make sure you do it within thirty minutes. Okay, if you do sh do it shorter than that, I'm sorry, you are not burning any calories. All right, that's the key. Okay, so next. These are the examples of the endurance. Yep. yep. Yes, okay, these are the examples. Okay, so now jogging, if I do it 15 minutes, I'm sorry, not enough. Make it into 30 minutes. Cycling, normally cycling, the people will do until 30 minutes. Lah. If you root bike, especially root bike, normally an hour or two hours. Lah. Okay, weight training, also same thing. Okay, some people, oh, I see, I use weight, body weight, fine. Okay, but again, make sure that it's about 30 minutes. Oh, I do kickboxing. Good. 30 minutes. I dance with my wife. Good. 30 minutes. Okay. Because <laughs> you need this duration. Yeah. Okay. I do rowing. Okay. Gym rowing or either rowing on the boat. Same thing. 30 minutes. Without, before 30 minutes, it's not considered as uh, endurance. Okay. Because it won't burn a lot. It won't burn a lot. Not the key. All right. So next. So K-pop dance. Oh, Vivian says K-pop dance. Yeah. So again, if you want to burn calories with using K-pop dance, 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes is the key. Minutes, okay, okay, next. Yeah, so flexibility. So now flexibility is something workout that we do to stretch the muscles. Okay, now normally we commonly use in physios and rehabilitation. Like we loosen the muscles, stretch the muscles. Okay, now some simple, uh, some classes like yoga classes, Pilates classes, or sometimes nowadays more famous as stretching classes. All these are meant to create your body's flexibility. Okay. Now, it's good to have flexibility, okay? But now, if I join this class only for 20 minutes, does it burn? It does not burn, okay? You need 30 minutes to burn, okay? So, the key is not what type of exercise I do, okay? The key is not the what type of exercise I do, but the key is how long I do those, those exercises, okay? Take 30 minutes as the, uh, as the, what do call it, as the key, okay? Now, Ken, next. So this is flexibility workout. How about strength workout? 
yeah, strength workout. I want six packs. I want <laughs> okay, that's smaller, a little bit smaller. <laughs> okay, six packs. Okay, biceps. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, many many muscles, but cosmetic purpose. Okay, now yes, when the more weights you carry, okay, the more stronger muscles because your muscles grow, ma. All right, and uh, do you know every time your muscles grow a little bit, all right, it helps you to burn extra calories. That means what in a big way, bigger muscles you burn slightly more bigger, uh, slightly more calories. Okay, that's the concept. But again, when you're doing your strength workout, make sure the duration is 30 minutes. Okay, make sure the duration is 30 minutes. Okay, but question is here. When you overdo your muscles, okay, we are not encouraging everyone. Eh? So when you overdo your work strength, your muscles become too big. What happened? It becomes stiff. Okay, it becomes stiff. So when it becomes stiff, what will happen? Just like kampung chicken and city chicken all. Okay, stiffer, which one is stiffer? Kampung chicken is stiffer. So when you have a stiffer chicken, which one you choose to eat? Kampung chicken all. So same thing to human. If you have too big muscles, stiffer muscles, you have always got problems, injury. Alright, so for those who always do strength workout, okay, now my advice, okay, always complete or finish it with flexibility workout, some simple stretching. All right, that is my advice. Okay, avoid injury, prevent injury. Otherwise, you cannot makai by someone. Yeah. Okay, avoid injury. Always remember yeah. to stretch before and after the workout. Yes, day. yes, yes, yes. You are right. Okay. So next. Yeah. So for more mm. exercise tips, so please look our previous FB lives during the MCO. Actually, we have the yes. live that yes. teaches everyone how to use resistance band to. Activate those important mm. muscles. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because we have, we found, yeah, we found one thing, right? Everyone go gym, uh, carry weights. The moment they carry weight, what is the first thing they do? Bicep. Biceps. <laughs> but do you know, the more you exercise your biceps, the more you are creating problems to your wrong posture. Yes. Okay? So therefore, we come with this live uh, in April, like what Shuhui mentioned. It's meant to you to activate the muscle that you hardly exercise. You don't want to use the, to exercise the muscles that you every day is using already. Already they already kong. You don't want to make them kong some more. Uh, you want to make them repair. Okay, but at the same time, you want to exercise the muscles that not yet kong and you need them very importantly. Yes. Okay. Uh, so look up to our website, benphysio.com. Then that's where you can look for the Facebook live as well. Mm, or like us in Facebook. <laughs> yeah, okay, so next. Oh, actually a comment. Mm. Uh, Mm. Raihana from her, so she mm. been asking if mm. you have knee OA, how to do HRT mm. and cardio. Okay. Oh, hi, Dr. Raihana. <laughs> okay. So if you have knee OA, now number one, stay tuned. Our next uh team, which we talk about degeneration. So now, in this case, right, we we don't really encourage you do O R. Uh, if you have knee OA, we don't really encourage you do HIIT or cardio on the land or on the land anymore. Maybe perhaps you can change your uh, environment whereby you can do it in your pool, water pool. Because as everyone knows, ma, water has this buoyancy. Buoyance, buoyance will float us. So it will take out your body weight, which will give you impact on your knee. Yeah, I think this is what um, Dr. Rahana tried to mean. Because when you have an OA, okay, that means what you have a lot of impact on your knees. All right. So therefore, HIT and cardio on the land will trigger more pain. All right. So best is change your environment. Go, um, or go onto the water. And, uh, into the water, yes. Into the water. Mm. Okay, or oh, and there is another way around. You can also do HIIT or cardio in sitting position. For example, bicycle. Bicycle. Mm. Uh, okay, but surprise, uh, some people with OAs, OA, right? They like dancing and they have no pain during dancing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yes, yeah. Huh? So yes, continue to dance for 30 minutes just to burn. Yes. Okay, so thanks, Dr. Rehana. Okay. Okay, next. Mm. So before that, like you say 30 minutes, by, but they need to know like how hard they should push, right? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, um, over here, we will just do a very simple sharing. Lah, huh? So in, um, in um, exercise world, okay, that is something called a heart rate calculation or we call it maximum heart rate calculation. We care about your heartbeat. All right, we care about your heartbeat. You don't want your heartbeat to overwork. All right, everyone has their own habit, okay, in the resting as well as during uh, exercise. All right, but you don't want to overwork your heart. Now, but how we know if I'm overworking my heart? Okay, simple calculation. Take 220, 
minus your age. Okay, so for example, this year I'm 20 years old. Okay, so I take 220 minus my age of 20. So my maximum of my heart rate that can pump is 200 beats. 200 beats per minute. So that means what? I have my watch. Okay, I have my this uh, heart rate watch. So if I exercise and I've noticed that, oh, my heart rate watch is telling me I exercise more than 200 beats now. So that means what? I need to stop. Okay, so for example, Shu Hui this year is about 40 years old now. Okay, so 220 minus 40, her heart rate is 180. Okay, so if one day she uh, exercise, okay, or she go shopping, and her heart rate shows that it's 180, so she has to stop shopping already. Ah, this is some <laughs> example, yes. Okay, of course, we don't encourage you to fully utilize your heart rate. Correct or not? Heart only one, we only have one heart, right? Correct or not? Shu Hui, we also only have one heart, all right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't overwork then. So you don't push your heart to the max. All right? So now this is the calculation. If you know your heart rate is the max is, a, is a that value, you times, okay? You take 80 to 90%, okay? For higher level, okay? Or if you think you want the light exercise, you just count 60 to 70%, okay? For, for go back to me, my maximum heart rate is 200. So I just, I want the light exercise. So I take 60% of my uh, 200, which is about 120 beat. Okay, so that's good enough for myself. So that means what? I make sure that when I exercise, I maintain my heart rate as 120 beats. That's all. Okay, I don't go over that. Day. So if Shuhei is my wife and she goes shopping, I will tell her, look, I want you to have a very light shopping. Okay, so 60% of your maximum heart rate. She's 40 now, ma. So 60% of 103, which is about, I also don't know, how, 108. Okay, so I tell Shuhei, Shuhei, when your heart rate beats more than 108, please stop shopping and come home. This is what I do, <laughs> okay? Can what I is the reason? Yeah, so <laughs> I tell her, oh, I'm trying to protect your heart. Yes, okay? So okay. this is what we call heart rate matters. Now, for those who want this uh, formula, okay, of course, you can request from our slides or you also can check it out in our website again. Okay, where our website do have this formula as well. Yes. Yep. Okay? Just comment slides and we send out you slides. Yes, yes. Okay. So let's, slides. let me... Mm. So, okay, now in physio wheel, we have something called rate of perceived exertion, we call it RPE. Okay, now this RPE is very useful. Huh? So it's a schedule for everyone to evaluate yourself. And it does, the score is start from six, finish at 20. Okay, so now six is zero exertion, 20 is maximum exertion, going to die, going to die, going to die. Okay, now during rest, you should be about six and seven during rest. Like now, long, I'm a bit kanchong already, so I should be about eight to nine. Okay, I wake <laughs> myself, I'm a little bit about eight to nine. So if I see Sydney Gao present, oh, I'm even more kanchong. Okay, so I'm maybe up to 12 and 13. Okay, so I rate myself how much of exertion I am having now currently. All right, so I think this is a very good table for everyone, very handy. Okay, hey Sydney, what is your RPE now? What is your RPE now? Okay, between 6 to 20. All right, so at least you can tell me a score. Oh, I'm feeling good now. I'm about 8 to 9. Uh, that's good enough. All right, so I asked, hey, Shuhei, so how are you? I see you cannot breathe. I said, Shuhei, tell me, oh, I'm now 70 or 18. No? The score of 20. So I know already she's going to con soon. Uh, okay, <laughs> something like this. Yes. Yeah, so she exercised too much or what? Shopping too much. Oh, so this is a simple way to evaluate everyone. All right, so now, for example, if you have parents or old parents or grandparents at home, you see that she's breathless, very difficult already, right? Okay, uh, Paul, uh, so what you, do you think uh, 0 to 10 uh, or 6 to 20, what is your rate now? But of course, uh, before this, you must teach them already uh, what is the score here. Mm -hmm. It's very useful. Uh, this is very useful. All right, so I rate them, uh, hey, uh, Paul, can you tell me how difficult you are now? If she tell you, oh, I'm now 8 or 9 over 10 already, jalat already, you must quick, quick call, ambulance already. Uh, so this is how you know what is the situation and how you manage it. Yes. Mm. Okay. So um, overall, when you do exercise, again, don't push over push. All right. Monitor your heart rate is one thing. Second thing is by using this chart, ask yourself. So now if you have an audience who run work in the gym, yeah, you can advise your gym owners to have this chart in the gym. Uh, in the gym or in the whatever gym, uh, gym in the pool, whatever, so that you can rate yourself anytime. Yeah, it's very useful chart actually, this one. Uh, and so someone is very colorful, green, yellow, and red. Yes. Okay? Yep. Okay. yep. Good. Okay, next. Oh, I can smell my rice. <laughs> 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 yeah, very nice. 
Okay, so, okay, basically, what is the summary of today? Okay, if you want to have weight management, okay, weight management, all right, most important is the endurance, okay? 30 minutes is the key. 30 minutes, 30 minutes is key, okay? And, of course, you also want to, like what Shuhui said just now, do a cool down, uh, do a warm up and cool down. When we say warm, excuse me, warm up and cool down, we mean stretch your muscles before and after. Okay, which muscle to stretch? So you have to know which muscle you use. Mm, okay, and lastly, most important, always listen to your body. Heart rate matters and your RPE, rate of perceived exertion, RPE. Yeah, all right. So if you have elderly at home, you always can download this chart. Okay, RPE, you search RPE, you also can get it. And then you can paste it on a fridge or in a gym or whatever. So that when you see someone breathless already, ask them, hey, what is your score now? Okay, 8 to 9 over 10. Okay, then should call ambulance already. Yeah. Yep. Or simple. Okay, so this is the cool. Yeah. Sorry? Mm. Or if simple, yeah, you just slides, it will give you a whole package of this. Yes, yes, yes. Slide. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, so I already. Yep. Okay. So next. Okay. So um, I think it's more my pleasure to have Sydney today. Actually, Thank so you. she was our clients before. She was, and uh, she shared with me her story. All right, how she transformed from an ugly small duckling to a pretty <laughs> swan today. <laughs> but you're wearing black today, so it's a black swan. <laughs> okay. So we have Sydney, seven years experience in uh, weight management and have been helping a lot of people, right, in gaining in oh, sorry, in gaining their weight loss successfully. <laughs> Not gaining weight, uh, gaining weight loss successfully. So she's a true uh, inspirational uh, model today. Huh? All right. So Sydney, your turn now. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Ben. Yeah, I think before I begin, right, I think I really want to thank Ben again. Uh, for inviting me to this session. Of course, for me, right, I, I was also his client before. Uh, and really going to Ben's physiotherapy, right, I think uh, it really made me more aware of my posture, of, of my body in general. Uh, because I believe even like whatever he mentioned just now about exercise, right, a lot of times, a lot of us get injured when we exercise just because we are not aware of how our body is like. So I think, uh, I believe that if you are going to plan to start exercising, right, definitely do go to uh, Ben. Uh, Ben's you. case, right? You need to get yourself <laughs> checked first, lah. I think, uh, because a lot of my clients who also try and exercise during uh their weight management pro progress, right? They also sometimes injure themselves, and when you get yes. injured, right, you cannot ever exercise at all already. Yeah, so I think um. Yeah, I think just to share about my own experience, uh, you know, going and benefiting from also Ben and his physiotherapist uh, center. As well. Yeah, so of yep. course, uh, today, uh, maybe let me introduce myself first before I begin, right? My name is Sydney. So like what Shu Hui and Ben has mentioned, right? Uh, prior to becoming a weight management consultant, I've uh, really struggled with managing my weight, uh, really tried many, many different methods to really correct it, but uh, to no avail and really always fail every single time. Uh, and, and I think really truly when I encountered New Skin's TR90, right, that was when I truly was able to understand what is a holistic approach to weight management. Yeah, so maybe I show you some pictures of myself. Okay, so uh, this yeah. was me when I was the younger. The best part, the climax yeah, of so the presentation so today. Yeah, so actually I was... <laughs> when I was much younger. I believe many of you who are watching, right, you can relate, right? When you're younger, right, seriously, you can eat anything that you want. Even you look in the yeah. picture, right, I'm also still eating. Yeah, so you can really eat <laughs> one gain weight one, right? So that's why for me, I thought my metabolism is very high. So I just keep eating and eating all, really not worrying at all. But of course, mm. as, I, as I age, as I progress later in life, right, my metabolism started slowing down without me knowing. Uh, and this was how I looked like at my heaviest Mm -hmm. uh, next slide. Yeah. Yes. There, the heaviest. Yeah, so this was how I looked like at my heaviest. Yeah, so I really unknowingly started gaining more and more weight. Uh, and and sometimes, right, really we don't notice one because we slowly, slowly buy from maybe XS to S size to M size to L. Then suddenly you realize that, oh my gosh, how come like, you know, I'm already this size, right? Yeah, so for me, it was at that point of time that was when my weight management journey started and I started actively looking for ways to manage my weight, okay? Um, and if you look at my next slide, uh, this is actually my transformation. Yeah, so from, from the before, which was only 58 kgs, and I'll actually explain to you why, even though my weight was only 58 kilos, I actually look like that. Uh, to now, I'm about 49, 
48, 49, right? And I really feel much fitter. I feel uh, healthier and, and I don't feel so lethargic all the time. Lah. So I think really it's more than just the looks, but also how we feel internally as well. Because I believe that we all want to feel young and feel active as well, right? Yeah. So um, let me just bring you through in terms of uh, the concept of weight management. Okay, so next slide. All right, so maybe we look at this first. Uh -huh. So Malaysians, okay, so I believe more, more, most of you guys watching are Malaysians, right? Did you know that Malaysia really bole, okay? Yeah, we are the highest, yeah. we, are the, we are the number one winner in the whole of Southeast Asia, okay? We have the so most- So you contributed. <laughs> you also contributed. Yeah. You also contributed. Yeah. Uh, thanks yeah. to all the Chapel, the McDonald's and all of that, right? Yeah. So yeah. the heaviest yeah, country, you know, out of, the whole of Southeast Asia. Yeah, and 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 definitely it's contributed by all our food. How, I mean, especially in KL, right? We don't walk at all, right? The most we walk is to our car. The moment we reach our destination, we walk to the car <laughs> again. Yeah, so we really have no physical activity at all. Yeah, so this all is contributing factors to why we slowly, slowly gain weight without knowing, okay? So if you look at the next slide, right? Um, Why? Why weight, right, is something that we need to manage is because uh, there are also health risks being posed, right, where actually we're overweight or obese. Okay, so if you look at all these examples, right, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart diseases. Yeah, I think like uh, Ben also talked about the heart pumping, the heart rate and all, right. Yeah, we hear a lot now after MCO, a lot of people go hiking and all, right, then suddenly pass away when they're hiking, right, because they overexert and they actually yeah. didn't realize that they have all this visceral fat, uh, all clogging up their arteries already. And just suddenly when they overexert, then uh, they actually suffer from a heart attack. Yeah, high cholesterol, arthritis, uh, sleep apnea, and, and many, many other, if you just Google, right, can really see all the health risks being posed. Okay, so that's why it's important for us to really manage our weight. Okay, so next slide. So really, uh, why do we get gain weight? Okay, so the first reason is because excessive food energy intake, like what Ben mentioned, right, we have too much input. So people who like to eat supper, go to mama. I believe now after MCO, suddenly all the mamas are open till midnight, right? Yeah. Hour, yeah. yeah, start to eat a lot. Yeah, and maybe you're under very great pressure, very, very stressed out. Maybe your wife, your husband don't let you buy things when you go shopping, right? Yeah. <laughs> then you hmm. start to feel very pressured. Then you, okay, cannot buy things right now, go and eat. Yeah, uh, or maybe sometimes also lazy to do exercise or too busy. Yeah, or perhaps you have physical limitations as well. So your output is reduced, okay? Uh, the next one is re re irregular diet habit. Yeah, a lot of times, many of us, right, we starve the entire day. Perhaps we are too busy with work, too busy doing a lot of different things, right? We forget to eat. And then at the, by the time dinner time, right, we go to the restaurant, we say one this, 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 and this, and we over order, and then we start eating. So we end up overeating as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. And of course, I think, uh, if there's moms, right, any moms in the in watching here today, I think really we have to give all the moms a round of applause. Yeah, and, and also our own moms as well, okay? Because definitely, right, they really sacrifice a lot uh, just to give birth to us. And a lot of mothers, right, on an average, increase 10 kilos after each childbirth. So the more kids you have, the more weight actually piles on sometimes. Yeah. So, of course, what can we do then? Okay, so a lot of people ask me, what is my ideal weight, Sydney? Like, what, what, what should be my target, right? And if you look at the next slide, a lot of people look at this, which is called, uh, look at this thing called BMI. Yeah, but BMI, of course, right, is actually the more general way to actually predict whether or not we are overweight or obese, right? But of course, it's a very rough gauge. Yeah, I, I believe mm. you have seen, right, maybe some, um, for example, basketballers, you know those mm. American basketballers, right? They are really, mm. really tall. But at the same time, right, they are very heavy because they are heavy with muscles. Mm. Okay? So chances are, right, you look at their BMI, right, most likely a lot of them are actually high BMI one. But does mm. that mean that they are healthy? Or does that mean that they are, you know, obese or overweight? Yeah, so that's mm. why for us, right, um, it's very important to know that the number on the scale, right, is just a very rough gauge. Yeah, and if you look at the next slide, right, because our body is made out of bones, water, muscles, and fat. Okay, so we have these four components, all right? So what you really want to be losing, right, is not weight in general, but you really want to just be losing the fats and increasing your muscle. So that is actually proper weight management because the more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism and the more you can burn. So you realize a lot of people, right, as we age, oh, we start to be able to burn less and less on. 
maybe people in their sixties, right? Maybe for some of you ladies who are watching today or men even, uh, you realize you eat very, very little. You really eat like a rabbit only one, but you just continue gaining and gaining and gaining weight. Yeah. Because of this thing called the body fat and muscle percentage in our body. Okay. So if you want to know whether or not you are actually uh, obese or overweight, right? You can actually look at this table. Okay. So this is actually the fat percentage. So like I mentioned just now, right? I was only 58 kilos when I first, uh, when I was at my heaviest, right? Uh, but the reason why I look so overweight, right? It was because of my fat percentage. So for me, right? My starting fat percentage was 34%. So that means, right? 100% of my weight, 34% was pure fats. Yeah, super scary, right? Yeah, so actually, right, there's a lot of uh, weight uh, scanners that can actually scan this. Uh, I believe some gyms have the in-body scanner. Uh, you have Tanita, mm, you yes. have Omron. Yes. Yeah, so nowadays, I, I, I guess, yeah, sorry? Uh, nowadays, getting more and more. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, the yes. in-body. Yes. Yeah, so definitely uh, really get yourself weight properly, right? I, I'm, for me also, I do that for all my clients. Uh, and I also give free consultation. So if you're interested, you can also let me know and I can give you a free measurement and also let you know about uh, what is inside your body as well. Uh, okay, mm. yeah. So if you look at the next slide. Um, so, all right. So if you look at these two ladies, right? Uh, they are the same height, same weight, but they look completely different. So just to further reiterate that body composition is more important than body weight. Okay, so then how, what can I do now? Okay, so let's say now you want to manage your weight, right? So of course, mm. the first thing is like what Ben mentioned, right? Uh, is actually your exercise. Okay, so mm. now I'm going to cover the second portion, which is your diet. Okay, so really, it's very, very simple. I believe a lot of times, right, it's very difficult for us to count calories because we don't know how. It's just too difficult mm. to always count calories, right? So mm. this is actually a very simple eating plan that everyone can follow. Okay, so it's all using your palm size only. All right. Mm. So if you look at one whole plate, right, you still eat one whole plate of food, but it's just how you classify it. Okay. So if you look at it, right, uh, you can have this much of carbs. So you cup your hand. Okay. So this much of carbs in one meal. Okay. So mm. that's roughly like for me, right, it's about half or slightly less than half a bowl of rice. Yeah. For mm. guys, if you have bigger palm size, right, uh, they're very lucky. Yeah. La, okay, yeah. You can eat more. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very lucky. Uh, gain more. Yeah. La. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then your burning food, right? That's your proteins, your protein sources, mm. egg, uh, your meat protein and your non-meat protein. So you can have two fish mm. size per meal. And a mm. lot of times we don't have sufficient protein in our diet one. Most mm. of our diets all consist of just your storing food, all your carbo only. Yeah, so two fish size is actually the best for each meal. And then you mm. have one whole palm of fruits and vegetables. So if you look at it, you still eat a full plate, but it's just how you classify your food. Yeah, and I think just now Ben showed uh, his, his meal today, right? His Rosser meal today, right? Mm, I think that's mm. balanced as well. Yeah, because yep. uh, it consists mostly of uh, protecting foods, which is their vegetables. At the same time, yes. they also have uh, their non-meat proteins in there as well. Mm. Yeah, so I think really uh, having, and this eating plan, right, is very, very simple to follow as well, okay? So if you look at the next slide, right, how can we then choose the best kinds of food to eat in a day? Okay, so it's definitely impossible, right? Every day you eat steamed chicken, steamed fish, steamed veggie. Wow, actually it's very sad, right? If you, for me, I'd rather just be fat, lah, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I think really, right, if you know, uh, you know how to classify your food, then it's easier for you to choose. Okay, so you look at the green, yellow, and red, right? It's similar to our traffic light. So green, right, you can have as much as possible. You know, you can freely eat and don't worry at all. Your steam, your steam food, your cold dishes, your sashimis, okay? Uh, if you blanch your food, you simmer your food, or even frozen food, right? Actually, all these, right, you can actually eat uh, and not worry about the calories, okay? So the yellow one, right, is actually slightly higher, but still acceptable, okay? So grilled, smoked, steamboat, steamboat, okay, steamboat, right, can also be green, can also be red, okay? I believe a lot of people now always eat steamboat, right? So it depends mm. on what kind of stuff you choose also, la, right? Yeah. Mm. If you choose all those mala, mala, uh, mala steamboat, right? Actually, that is in the mm. red category already, okay? Yeah. Okay. So definitely be wise when you choose your food. La. And that way, right, you can really roughly gauge how much calories there is in your meal. Okay. Mm. And of course, the worst one is like deep fried food. La. Okay. Deep fried food is the worst because there's a lot of oil. And actually, all your pieces of protein, right, your meat is actually coated by flour, which is carbohydrates yes, or so. flour. Yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah, storing, like storing yeah, food. Your, yeah, and then tambah lagi, right? You eat your fried chicken, your storing food already there, right? Then you add on uh, rice or more. Yeah, mm. so you oh, yeah. a little bit too much of storing food already. Yeah, Malaysia so definitely, yeah. So definitely, right? Take a screenshot of this. 
uh, if you want. Or I think you can just uh, send in uh, request for the slides yeah, from Shumpe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can actually see how you can really choose your food better. Okay, yep. so um, next slide. So really for me, right, I think uh, really weight management should be super simple. I think uh, if we really overcomplicate it, right, we feel super stressed and when we're stressed, we eat even more, right? Yeah, so really weight management is very, very simple one, okay? So if you just do exercises, okay, just incorporate it to your lifestyle. Choose an exercise, like all the examples that Ben given, right? Choose one that you really like. Don't force yourself yeah. to do something that you don't like at all. Because the moment you do that, the most like, I give you just one time only you will do. After that, you won't want to do it anymore. You feel super lazy to do it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in you terms of your like lifeless. sorry, because you feel like lifeless, lah. Yeah, you feel like you feel like oh, you have to drag yourself to do it, right? Mm. Yeah, so if ladies, right? You like shopping, right? Ha, huh? go, go. So again, so again, no, after exercise, right? Go and have a good meal. The good meal with <laughs> yes. low carbs, uh, low calories. That's the best. That's it. And it looks right, nice. Yeah. It looks nice and attractive. Mm. Yeah, have an effective <laughs> eating plan, lah. And of course, right? Yeah. You see the third circle right it's actually innovative products so of course right if you actually want a booster or kind of have an overhaul for your body right then that's where tr90 comes in uh, and you actually can uh contact me to really find out more about it because sometimes uh we just need a kickstart lah, for our journey yes. right and really tr90 provides us with that so you're not relying on the supplements or the program to lose weight but it's just to give you an overhaul yeah so if you're interested do contact me yeah and i will give you more information and no obligations on whether you get started or not yeah, so mm. definitely, right? I really wish you guys all the best on your weight management journey. Yeah, yes, I believe yes, that yes. the moment you start to really um see yourself progressing, right, you feel more and more motivated and excited. And when that mm. happens, right, you get you you will achieve your goals as well, lah. Yeah. So I think yes. really, I thank you so yes. much for your time and also for inviting me, inviting me, Ben and Shuhui. So I pass the sure. time back to Shuhui. Thank you so much. It's really, really informative, even yep. for yep. being official. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so um, yes, thanks, um, Sydney again. So again, so go back to our previous, uh, the first slide, right? What is the tips, the effective ways, right, to bring down the body weights? We talk about three things. Okay, formula, ma. Okay, reduce your intake, increase your output, and lastly, sleep. All right, actually, sleep is the most important, which a lot of people will will will, will not have sufficient sleep nowadays. All right, too stressful lah, cannot sleep lah, babies keep on waking up lah, okay, blah, 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 all this thing. So again, at the end, right, always make sure that you have enough sleep. All right, because as, uh, as well, you can see the slides will improve your immunity. That was but most important is better weight control. Okay, because why? Your body needs to repair. Even though you have OA la, um, or osteoarthritis la, or inflammation in the body, sleep is where your body do the repairing. Okay, so it, sleep is very important. Yes, okay. So that's all for our today's presentation. That's all yeah. our today's sharing, right? Yes, and then we come to our next climax. Non, cannot say climax anymore. <laughs> so our <laughs> next, yep. Yep. So once again, yep. we want to thank Rossum. Yep, Outtown Rossum. Yep, the cash voucher mm. worth uh, 18 ringgit. Mm. And Mr. Mm. Ben, you want to show one time about your meal? Oh, <laughs> a show one time. Uh. Okay, that takes some time. Okay, so let me. Okay, so before I show one time the meal, right? So now allow me to uh, ask the question first, can or not? Ah, can, can, can. <laughs> okay, so the question for today. Okay, again, before you answer the question, please tag three friends. Uh. Please tag three friends and then answer the question correctly. Okay, so the question for today is So, what is, what are the effective ways? What are the effective ways? Uh? okay in weight loss or weight management okay which are we have three okay we need the three answers yes what are the effective ways in weight loss management okay so tag three friends and give us the and give us the uh, answers answer three yes okay correctly for weight yes management. three yes okay so yep now so what do we have today on my table here so again so but honestly yeah for the 45 minutes i sat here what well, cannot tahan like, with the with the <laughs> with the smell of the food <laughs> there this is the food today 400 kilo 400 calories only all right with some protein with the uh, um storing storing uh what is called this uh the i think it's not a rice uh, i think cauliflower okay, right then, cauliflower. yeah I think it's a cauliflower fried rice mm. yeah yeah, I think it's a cauliflower, I guess. Yeah, okay. And then the sambal, Malaysian's, Malaysian's favorite. 
Okay, <laughs> Malaysian famous with sambal or chili uh, with every food. Okay, so we will be here for two minutes. Okay, another two minutes, right? Okay, to wait for the answers. You try the food, lah. Food review a bit. Share yeah. with us. <laughs> wait, how come they never serve me spoon? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have spoon? <laughs> so while waiting for two minutes, excuse me. Malaysian sound, ma. Use hand. Hey, okay, no, no. I need to Should play the keyboard a little bit. Together. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, Shuhei, don't mind. We go to the last, last, the last few yes. slides, ah. Yeah. So just a quick one. So everyone, um, next Saturday we won't be. Around. Thank you. Yep. So yeah, next so Saturday next we Saturday. won't be. Yeah, yeah. We won't be around. But next Friday we have something. Okay, Shuhei. Yep, so August 7 will be Mr. Ben will be invited guest at the Growway mm. FB Live. Mm. Yes. At 1 p.m. right? Yes, yes, yes. So as, as usual, we will send our we will send our, our this Facebook link to everyone. So do support us. Okay. So we are going to talk about back pain. All right, without surgery. Um how are we going to manage our back pain without surgery? All right. So this is our first collaboration with uh uh with uh, outsiders. All right, so we are their speakers this round. All right, mm. yep. So yeah, so while Mr. Ben trying to review our delicious food from Rossum, mm. so please <laughs> take three friends again, okay? And you get yeah. a chance to win this uh, Rossum cash voucher worth 18 ringgit. So yep. again, what's the, what's the question is three key rules, okay? Three key tips to manage your weight. Yeah, three key tips. Okay, because anyway, from the 10, right? You, if you summarize, only three things we are okay. We have three things. Yep. Three main and, point. Yeah, the three main point. Mm. Okay, and last one. There, these are their menu in Rossum. All right, these are their, actually it's very interesting. Oh, they have these puddings. Eh? You can see, yeah, uh, they have puddings, chia puddings. Yeah, they have these chia puddings. It's a little bit nice. blur, blur. This is the first page. I'm okay, so Sydney, maybe we look, yeah, maybe we look for one day, we come here. There, you see, you see their title, uh, Healthy Guiltless Cravings. Uh. So Malaysian, <laughs> as you said, uh, we crave for something, but that's where you go for a healthy, guiltless, not guilty, guiltless cravings. <laughs> low calories, what? I mean, anyway, yep, low yep. calories, that's good. Yep. Yeah, I yes. also commented already because I also want to win. <laughs> I cannot lie, <laughs> you. You cannot, uh. <laughs> cannot, cannot, okay, you cannot. cannot. So my, my marketing yeah. team, if you see Sydney go, no. <laughs> no <I'm not> <laughs> too bad. And then I also want to do them. <laughs> okay, so two minutes end. Yep. So wait, two minutes end. Five more oh, seconds. Oh yeah, I see you are right. Yeah, it's a cauliflower. Mm. Oh no, I'm hungry. It's a cauliflower. Wow. <laughs> it's a cauliflower. Yeah, right. It's a cauliflower. Mm. Okay. I respect you all, so I don't eat first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hello, Chua, Chua, Chua Tai King. Hello, nice to see you. Su Chin, nice to see you here. Angie Yong. Uh, this one very familiar name. <laughs> Angie <laughs> Yong. <laughs> well, Vivian Liao, the coffee drinker. Kwan, So Ying, Long Chen Yi, just me. Okay? Yep. So thank you again, Sydney. Thanks for your time, man. Thank so hopefully we so have one day to work okay. together. Sorry, Su Hui? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ben as well. Okay, okay. Thanks, Su Hui. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.